Hello. <clears throat> Hello, VIP Kid teachers and friends and knitters. I have my knitting with me today, and I'm taking a little bit of a break from regular life um, and VIP Kid teaching. And I just wanted to come on here, share. I made this dishcloth. I've been making dishcloths like crazy because um, it's a really good thing to carry with you to do on the run. I can do it while I'm in the car, driving along. I can do it when I'm talking to friends. That's why I have it right now. I can do some knitting. I'm making a blue dishcloth. These are really great gifts to give to people. Another good thing to do is, you know, make some homemade soaps and then you can give those to great teacher gifts for kids' school gifts or Christmas gifts for older people, you know. I just did a lot of cleaning today and I was, um, oh my goodness, I was upstairs doing some cleaning and it was just crazy how much stuff we had and even gifts. And sometimes, you know, we want to give gifts, but then we just add to other people's clutter and it just kind of like just piles up. And then sometimes it doesn't get used. This is a really good gift to give. It's like something that you do shows that you care about someone, it's something that can be used, something that if it gets used up, they don't mind, you know, throwing it away eventually, of course. And soap is a really good thing. I made some soaps a while back and I was surprised at how people just love homemade soap. So this is a really great craft to do. It's You really don't have to think a lot about it. You just kind of keep going and doing it. Um, I do have another craft that I'm going to be knitting um, probably the next time I do a video. I will show you. It's called the Falling Snow. Hey, Evelyn. It's called the Falling Snow Stocking. And I'm going to show. I don't think I have it in here. It, it it's kind of a tradition I started because I do have a lot of kids in my family and my oldest daughter, when she moved out, I made her, um, and her husband, their first Christmas, I made them each a homemade stocking and it had their name on it. And so I made that a tradition as they move out. Wow. Good for you. I went to grocery shopping, made lunch, ate lunch with the family. Now I'm pumping <laughs> Nice. Yeah. I know the life of a mom. And if I sit down and take a break, I'm like, what should I be doing? I mean, I can't take a break and feel like good about it. But I did take a little bit of a break after um, all of the cleaning upstairs because this is my day, my week off. So uh, during last weekend, when I went to my kids basketball games, they were very close. The, it was very close. And our teams did not win, which was kind of sad. But we didn't win the first round, but we did the, win the second round. So the girls came in third place and the boys came in. I think the boys came in third place too. And so um, it was kind of tense. But I was able to knit during the games. And, you know... It's just really strange. Some people probably don't get as intense about it as I do, but this kind of helps me keep me something to do. Uh, my husband was there for part of it, but he went home and then he came back later. So I stayed for the whole thing, but I may, I finished this dishcloth and then I'm, I'm working on another one. Now this one, the, the ends need to be woven through. I need to get a special needle for that. And then I'm just going to make them and keep a little collection and they're great gifts. You know, my mom, my mother has everything. She loves these. They're really, really awesome. Maybe I will send some of you guys, maybe I'll send you each one. And Evelyn, I owe you some money for the game. So I was wondering if you do Venmo or, um, I have Venmo, PayPal, and the Cash App. Or I haven't had people send me money through Facebook. I just had somebody send me money through Venmo, and I gave them my wrong email address. So I have to change that, figure, figure that out. So I spent some time figuring that out. But 
I wanted to talk about knitting a little bit, but I also wanted to share on this video about the um, step bet. And I wanted to share what it is and a little bit more about it because I have been doing this. I did it all through the month of, month of January and all through the month of February. And it's really been good for me to challenge me. Um, I am in a VIP kid teachers. It's sort of a weight loss journey type um, group, but we all share like healthy habits. And technically, if you join the group and you do something for exercise, that's what it's all about. Just making healthy choices and making good changes <clears throat> to your habits to promote good health in the long run. And, you know, sometimes over time we can just get into bad habits and then this kind of helps us to be accountable. Well, last Christmas I did get an Apple Watch. Okay, so it really works well with an Apple Watch or some people have a step bet watch. Not step bet watch, but um, like one of those, uh, what is it called? Um, I can't think of the word. You know what I'm talking about. So, like, if I want to change device, I can change my device step sources. Uh, the Apple Health app is what you can use or, you know, those official walking watches, whatever they are. So, and what I'm doing is mine is a VIP kid teachers group. And this one for this month is called Fall Into Fitness. And it's just for the month of February. Um, I started one in the month of January and there are other step bet. It is a step bet. It is generic. It is not just for VIP kid teachers technically, but you can start your own group and then you can invite people to it. And then everybody kind of does the group. So what you do is you load the app, you connect it to your device. Fitbit. Thank you. <laughs> PayPal's fine. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Evelyn. So what you do is you connect your device with your app. And then, like for us, for VIP Kid Teachers, I joined with other VIP Kid Teachers. So in the month of January, there was a group of like 90 people, or it might have been 100 people. And what happens is the... um the app will take an average for you and will tell you what your goal is for you. So for me, it's going to be a little bit different than, you know, maybe somebody who is a fitness trainer or something like that. So it's within your reach. It's challenging you to go a little bit beyond what you normally do, but it's within your reach as far as being reasonable. And so my challenge is that I will do, um, I have to do, okay, where am I? So I have my profile picture and then um, you can, so let me start at the beginning. You can join the Step Bat world for one price and then you can be a lifelong member. Or you can join each challenge for a certain amount of money. So in January, the challenge was for one month for $20. So I put in $20 and I got my goals. My goals are to do four active days for 7,088 steps. And then I have to do two power days for 9,411 steps. And then I have one day free. I don't have to meet any goal for that day. So for last month, uh, last week, what happened to me yesterday was I did one, the green is the active day, one, two, three, four, five active days in a row. And then I had one power day. But then I had to make yesterday also a power day because um, I didn't take a day off anywhere and I didn't have another day for that week. So I kind of <laughs> worked extra last week. 
And so for this, for today, I'm doing my day off. I'm doing my, um, my low day for today. So, um, oh, thank you. So I can take a day off today and then I'll do active days and I can do in between, like your power days don't have to be any certain days. You can do two power days anywhere you want. And so I have a little neighborhood that I can walk t around, like, so I can go down, I can walk around the block. There's not a lot of traffic. It's paved and everything. And it's just kind of cold for this time of year, but it's, it's working for me. One night I got home, it was probably about eight o'clock. I was really tired and I just had like maybe 600 steps left. So I just went out my driveway and just went up and down my driveway until I made the 600 steps. There have been a few times that, you know, I'm already ready for bed and I'm just like running in place, trying to get my, my, um, steps up. So it's kind of good because it's ke keeping me active and I do want to lose a few pounds and, but I'm not like, you know, I understand I'm not terribly unhealthy. I just want to lose a few pounds. So when I actually started the journey, um, when Micah first started, this would be, um, when I first started VIP kid, um, which would be the year of the dog. So we had the year of the dog then the year of the pig. And then we had, so it was the beginning of, it was probably, wow, seems like a long time. <laughs> But the very first group was the year of the dog. And when I weighed myself, I don't usually weigh myself on a scale. So when I weighed myself, I was kind of surprised how high the number was. It was probably the highest I've ever been when I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, I do need to take control of my health right now. And so I went ahead and I lost like 11 pounds and then I kind of got slacked off. And then I gained weight again. So I'm kind of losing that weight again. But, you know, I lost weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the year of the dog first. Then we had the year of the pig. Yeah. And now it's the year of the rat, which, you know, is applicable in a lot of ways, too. But um, so I'm kind of losing the weight I, I had already lost before. But that's okay because, you know, it's like, Okay, you lose some weight, then you gain a few pounds, take control, pull back, you know, as long as, and that's better than just saying, oh, well, forget it. I'm just going to gain the weight anyway. You know, at least I'm trying. And I have figured out that as I've gotten older, like I don't eat as much as I used to. And I'm still like bigger than I used to be. So, you know, I'm figuring out I can't eat as much as I wanted to, and I can't eat the same things. I got to eat more healthy foods, you know, vegetables and um, stuff like that. So it's definitely different for me because I guess with myself, I had a lot of kids and I was really active and I was always chasing after them. And that really helped me keep my weight down. I did take a lot of walks. We went on a lot of hikes. And, um, so, but I'm comfortable. Like, I don't want to go around acting like I, I'm, you know, oh, I'm so fat. I need to lose weight. That's not really what it's about. It's more about being healthy. So for me, the step bed is nice because I would just be not realize that I'm not walking enough, that I'm not active enough. And this having a goal for me is good. So if you, anybody who watches this video, if you're interested in more information about the step bet for VIP kid teachers, just let me know. Now you can join step bet for one price. And then I don't know how that exactly works because every single step bet is, um, a price. So I did $20 in January and I received, so what happens is everybody that joins pays in their $20. And if a few people drop out because of one reason or the other, they don't make their goals, then all the money gets split between everyone who met their own goals. So I made a couple dollars, I think four or five dollars in January. And then um, 
And then, oh, that's Micah. He's reporting. So, yeah. So, yeah. So we can um, go ahead and just go into now. I just took that $20, put it into February, and it looks like February might be good too. So, um, yeah, so you can, so I have not put any more than $20 in and I've met my goal. Now what happened to me yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I, it was, it was like eight o'clock. I was tired. I had been busy all day and I laid down, checked my step bet app. Cause I kind of forgot about it during the day. And then I realized I am thousands of steps behind. And it's dark out. And so I <laughs> I got my coat on. I put on my husband's um, head lamp. And I went out back to the place I usually walk. And I walked and I did all of my steps. And then I checked my step bet. Now, this will keep track of your steps. So you go to the step bet. Uh, app, you go to your steps, and like for today, I've done 4,387. So when I checked my app last night after I had done a walk, it was 4,000 and something. I'm like, oh my word, I'm so tired. I don't want to keep walking. I felt like a little kid. I wanted to cry. <laughs> Hello, Micah. And so um, I checked my phone, and it was like over 4,000 steps. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. And I was going to be have to do twice as much as I just did. But then I looked at my watch and I looked at the app on my watch and my watch said over 10,000. So I was way over. So sometimes the app doesn't sync exactly correctly with your with your watch and with your phone. So you have to kind of work with it and you kind of get used to what you what normally would be for a regular day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm sitting down because I'm taking a break because sometimes you just have to take a break, you know? And so I'm taking a break. I'm getting my knitting out. This room is all, it's, it's a, you know, one of those houses built during the, you know, happy days time, you know, and this room is all paneling. My bedroom is all paneling. And the guy who built this house, you know, sometimes behind the drywall, you don't want to know what it is. <laughs> so I am, I am actually thinking about getting some paint. Solid indoor hobby. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm thinking about getting some hate paint and maybe painting. What color do you think I should paint it? Because there's a lot of really good paint out now that you can just, you know, paint anything with it. And I'm thinking uh, my VIP kid, um, this is the corner that I originally started VIP kid with. It's, it's a corner and I had some of my stuff on this side and some of the stuff here. So I was like in the corner. And, but then the lighting was, uh, when I tried out for level seven, yes, I'm knitting. When I tried out for level seven, um, they said my lighting was bad because I have a window here, which I have covered and I have a window here. And so when I actually did that one kid was always my last class of the day and the sun was shining. So it was kind of not good for my lighting. <laughs> So I had, I switched it to a whole different spot in this room. And this room actually used to be my husband's study, but I have completely taken it over and it is really strange, but it's my room now. <laughs> it's my VIP kid office and it's got, I cleaned it out and now it's got more stuff in it. So I'm, I have some things I'm working on. I'm doing knitting. And at this time, I had some friends that were going to come on a Zoom uh, conference with me and do some knitting. And we're going to try to do that once a week. But they had some things they had to do today. And these are friends of mine that I have 
known for quite a long time. And we like to do crafts, knitting. We've done homeschooling. Uh, we've known each other for many years. So we have taken a lot of different twists and turns in our lives. And it would be really cool for, to get together and, and get back to our knitting and also talk about things that we've learned in our life. So that's coming soon on this channel. And um, I'm also doing the step bet challenge, which for me has been really good. And I have been reporting on Micah's um, Facebook group for the health and wellness. And I think it's been a really good thing for me. Um, I know that I need to get into more exercising but this is something that's keeping me going. And I think it, the step bet is good for people that think that, you know, well, I'm not a, you know, aerobics queen or I'm not a gym rat type of person. <laughs> and so, the, but you can still walk, you know, you can find something you can do. And when my kids were younger, I did a lot more walking. I did not have to even think about my weight. Like I never, I hadn't weighed myself. My son is 12, my youngest. So I probably hadn't weighed myself in 12 years, <laughs> but I definitely feel better. And I definitely feel like, um, I feel stronger. Like I, when I went out last night, I was really tired at eight o'clock at night and I didn't really want to go out and do the exercises, but I didn't want to lose because this is the last week. And I told my husband, I was like, I really need to get out and do some more steps. I'm like way behind and it's almost time to go to bed. So he was getting ready to take me to the mall, but that's like 30 minutes away. I'm like, it's a 30 minute drive. Then we have to walk around the mall. Then we have to drive home. That's too much. I said, you know, I can just go outside and I'll just do my walk. So I put on the headlight because I, if you saw the video, Micah, it was pitch black. I have never, ever, I have lived in this house over 20 years the neighborhood in the back of us has been there for like 12 years. I've never walked behind that in that area by myself in the dark. <laughs> never, you know, I'm like, I'm a grown up, like I can do this. And um, I was a little nervous when there was a car that slowly was driving behind me. And I was like, I, I, I have a really loud voice. I can scream. And I know like a couple of the neighbors. I don't, in, in New Hampshire, you don't know your neighbors real well necessarily. And uh, so I was like, I'm sure there's nice people in those houses if I need someone, but it's pitch black. Like they're not going to hear me maybe. Um, and so I turned around, it was a police car. <laughs> so I was like, maybe somebody sent the police saying, who is this person walking around our neighborhood? But, you know, people around here are different. It's different in New England. Like, I just called down to Atlanta. Okay, Micah, I am going to Journey. Um, Beth Ann Boyd, who is on the weight loss group, she is meeting me down there. And I'm going to meet some new people. And I'm going to have fun. So I called down there about my, my hotel reservation and the lady was like talking and talking and talking. I'm like, this is definitely not New Hampshire. Like we're just all business. <laughs> but she said she had my reservation, everything was set. And so, yeah. So anyway, um, it's different up here. So anyway, I was safe. Everything was fine. And I made it. What meetups are you going to? I have not even figured out what meetups I'm going to. Um, <laughs> I know that the Shannon has the one on Friday night. I was just reading about a props exchange thing that they're going to be doing. So I was thinking about that, trying to figure out what I would want to bring for that. Something something good. I don't know. I was thinking of, um, Evelyn has given me some really cute props. I was thinking of making some just like that because I know how much I like them making, make a little kit 
if Evelyn's still here. Um, yeah, so like she has a little kit with a like a stop sign and an ear, and that would be really good for new people probably. So um, I don't know. I'll have to brainstorm and figure it out. I don't want to just print something off that everybody else is already going to have. I thought about the pandas because I gave Evelyn the pandas, and she really liked those. There's like a set of like ten pandas that. Um, that in a set that I would give for a reward, kind of like stars, you know. So what I'm doing here is I am making a dishcloth, and this is a really good gift. And I do have a boy in my home at class. He is making a blanket, and he is making squares. They're like this size, 40, 40 um, stitches by 40 stitches, and it's bigger yarn, and he's making a blanket. He wanted to make a blanket and we talked about it. And I said, are you sure it's going to take a while? You know? So I got bigger, bigger needles. They're larger than this. And they, um, the yarn is a little thicker too. So he's going to make squares and then we're going to sew them all together. And he's doing it. He's got like, uh, maybe four squares done and he took home some extra yarn because we have this week off and he's going to be working on it. And um, he's kind of a, this family, they're, they're all adopted children and they're very, you know, they're very like high energy. So, but they do love crafts. And so he was all over this, this craft. And I did teach them to make a dishcloth. This is the first thing that I taught them to make. And I do have a video um on my on my channel that shows how to make the dishcloth now this is called grandma's favorite so if you go online you will see that other people make this dishcloth i have made a lot of different styles of dishcloth there's a lot of things you can do with this this is a cotton yarn it's a little different than the regular yarn that you see like a whole skeins of in the stores it's smaller skeins and it's cotton so it's really good for using to wash things and stuff like that um and so it's a really good yarn it's really good thing to start with to learn how to knit and i did at the ball games i saw a lady that i know she was also knitting and she was making the same pattern so it was she's making a blanket with needles about this size and she's going to make it so that there's a hundred, a hundred stitches. Like I make this. So there's about 45 stitches going across and then I start decreasing. So it turns it into a square. And so, um, she's making a blanket. So she's using the same pattern and she's just going until she can make a triangle of a blanket. And then she's going to start decreasing and make more you know bigger blanket so this is also something you can use for making other things other than a dishcloth so this is what i would use for like washing your dishes um washing your counters and stuff like that um i wouldn't you could use it like to clean other places but i wouldn't like you know, clean your bathroom and then clean your kitchen with it, you know, obviously. But you could, if you really liked this style of a cloth, you could make, you know, purple for your bathroom and blue for your kitchen or something like that. Um, this is a kind of thing that is, people really love these. My second daughter, who's also a VIP kid teacher, when she was younger, she, um, made these dishcloths like we homeschooled so she would make these dishcloths during her schooling while she's watching the videos and then she would have a stack of them and she would bring them around with us and she would sell them for three dollars a piece and so she always had a little extra money in her pocket <laughs> all right thank you evelyn thank you for stopping by so it, i just wanted to do uh, my knitting video and just you know show people how I'm doing on my knitting and what's coming up for this channel. 
And I also wanted to share about the step bet and um, what that's all about. So if you've watched this video and you want more information about the step bet and how to do it, and if you would like me to help you with it in any way, you know, just send me a message, put a message below or find me on Facebook or something like that. So um, I also have a Facebook group for iPad users. Okay, thank you, Micah. So I have a Facebook group for iPad users. And we just heard today that iPad users, um, you cannot do the new, the brand new level one certification for um, on the iPad. But um, I did discuss that with some of the people in my iPad group. And my thing is that I don't think that the iPad is going to be going away because so many of the students use iPads and I don't see the students going out in droves buying all new equipment. You know, they're going to use what they have. And so I think the iPad is alive and well and it's going to be continued to be used for classes. I had to use it this morning actually because. I had my class all set up, ready to go, and as soon as it did start class, I was kicked off the internet. I don't know what happened. So um, the computer that I'm using wasn't set up with the hotspot, so I had to go straight to my iPad. My iPad clicked onto the class. It was still, I don't know if there was system glitches this morning because other people were reporting um, glitches. So I don't know what was going on. Um, today is February 25th, and I had I just had a class that was my 5:30 a.m. class, and I taught the next couple classes on the iPad. Then I had a trial class, and I was afraid I wouldn't be able to do that with the iPad because it was the new trial class. So I went back to my computer. My computer worked, but then. <laughs> My computer worked and then the student's device did not tolerate the new um, the new program. So I had to do the it was this it was the new program, but it was the old style. So that was my friend that was supposed to be on the knitting group with me. I'm just telling her that I'm live on YouTube. <laughs> see if she comes by. So thank you for watching. I see I have three watching and three thumbs up. So if you're watching, let me know who you are and let me know if you have a question. I see Evelyn. Evelyn was here. And I Evelyn and I did a really fun game show yesterday. That was a, that was a lot of fun. So we had planned out the questions ahead of time. But we didn't know what the other person's questions were. So, like, I sent questions to Casey and Evelyn sent questions to Casey, but we did not know the questions that the other person had asked. So, that was really fun. So, we had a lot of fun with that. And um, so, if you're interested in doing anything like that, I do have the live the Zoom on YouTube live capability in order to do that. Like you can do this kind of thing for free. You can get on and do a live for free. But if you want to do a group live, you have to have a Zoom app and you have to pay a certain fee. So for me, I pay, I'm paying the $15 per month so that I can do group activities on my channel. So you could do interviews. So I can do interviews if you would like to do something with me. Um, and then what we can do is if you agree to do something with me, then I can send you the playback. And if you have a YouTube channel, then you can put it, post it on your YouTube channel as well. So you may see that if you're friends with both Evelyn and I and Casey, you might see that we have the same game show on each of our channels because we we all have 
we have some of the same followers, but we also have different followers. So it gives us another video to upload onto our channel. And so a bunch of us YouTubers kind of help each other out and follow each other's videos. And we, you know, give each other tips on what we could do better, how to help each other um, different ways. And we're give, being a support to each other. And so this is another way that we can kind of encourage each other. And we go on each other's uh YouTube channels and we make comments and we support each other, but we also have conversations behind the scenes so that we can tell each other when we are going on live, we can um, encourage each other with different things that are going on in our personal lives that we might not put on um, YouTube. And so, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And usually what happens is we all have lives right after classes every day of the week. So each person has a different day. And um, Monday, I think that might be variable at this time. Tuesday is Kelly Tag. She has um, a video live that she updates Go Go Kid and VIP Kid News. Then Wednesday is Danny. Uh, Happy Farms, Louisiana. And then Thursday is Evelyn and Friday is Kim. And then Saturday at 8.15, I go live. And so last Saturday, um, we I went live for a little while. And usually we'll share rewards, share ideas, share things VIP kid related, and then share some news about our families or whatever. And then Monday, uh, we did the like, game show. And then every Monday, we've been doing Monday at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have been doing the um, collaborations. We've been talking about um, different levels. We talked about trials. And we have different collaborations that we have been discussing different things. So you can look for those on my channel as well. And Casey Oswald is the one who is has originated that. And so we all do it on her channel live. And then she sends us the playback. And then we put that, we put that on our thing. So got to have a good day. Keep up the good work. Thank you. So yeah. And so, you know, so this video has been about um step bet. Um that I'm going to journey. So I'll be able to give you guys some information about that. And I'm going to Atlanta and my daughter lives right outside of Atlanta. So I'm going to be able to see her as well. Um, and then coming up, we have the time change. <coughs> we have the, <coughs> excuse me. We have the time change coming up March 8th. So be aware of that. Everything's going to be bumping up an hour. So now we're only going to be 12 hours difference of China. And that kind of does make it a little hard for those of us who are working um, outside of VIP Kid. Then we have schedules so that we have to plan that and let our regulars know. The I think the re regulars know about the time change. And right now, the regulars may be a little bit flexible since they are shut in right now. So I had to switch the day for my level seven, which was good right now. But when he's in regular school, that's not always possible. So we're keeping that in mind. I have three short notices open for tonight. So I don't know if those are going to book or not. We'll see. I did a thing last a couple weeks ago at the Frenzy. I said, I'm just going to open priority bookings. And then anything that doesn't book priority, I'm going to wait and open them short notice. And today I got two short notice. I have two short notice for tomorrow. And so, yeah. Okay.
do 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 I'm just telling my friend how to find me here. There are a ton of VIP kids channels. <laughs> okay, so I sent her my link. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. And, you know, it's funny. You just type in someone's name. I didn't realize there's so many Cindy Bennett's on YouTube. So, but my YouTube channel is the URL is Cindy Bennett one three or Cindy Bennett 13. So and this is my friend that I didn't make a zoom link because I didn't really have anybody that wanted to come on with me. <laughs> To actually talk. I see I have five people watching. If you can type in the chat box if there's something you want me to talk about. VIP kid-ish. Um, I have a dilemma. I made a video all about the standing desk for, for VIP kid. And I used a Filmora um, program, which I have made videos with Filmora. I've done it you know, a few different videos and I loved it. And so I got the video all done, all edited, and it won't export for me. So now I'm trying to figure that out. I joined a Filmora group on Facebook, but I still haven't found any help, help yet. <laughs> so it's really frustrating. So I, I, I thought I could just do a live video about it, but So, yeah, so I'm trying to do figure that out. I have the video all edited. I have it all set to go, and it won't go from Filmora. It looks like it's on my computer, but it won't upload to YouTube. So if anybody has any tips on that, you can message me. <laughs> it's Filmora 9. I paid $50 for the program. I have used it, made a few videos. Um, and it looks like it uploaded to my computer. I just can't get it to upload, but I'm gonna have to go because I have a phone call. So I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.